you know, I thought it might be a little bit more helpful if we went piece by piece, sort of installing these files to really set up Jasmine from scratch on Scrimba. And it might make it a little easier to understand what's actually happening here. So we start out and we have our index.html and our index.js. So I'm going to go ahead and actually rename this index.js. I personally like the name main.js, and this is really going to be the in injection point of our application. Now, if we go in main.js, this is will be where eventually we'll write our code. This is where we'll do the majority of this course, um, actually 100% of the course. The rest is going to be boilerplate. Now we're going to need another file here. And let's go ahead and start with the jasmine.js. Now, if we go into here, it's an empty JavaScript file. I'm going to copy and paste over this whole library, basically. All this stuff that's in here, that's the entire library that's using. You don't really need to know any of this. I mean, it's, it's a 6,000 line piece of library. That's really how Jasmine works in the background. Now, let's go ahead and create a new, another file make this jasmine.css. Now, as we go and uh, copy this over, this file is going to be all of that beautiful UI that's there, right? You know, uh, what an anchor tag looks like, all, you know, all the CSS associated with that. Do one more file here, and this will be jasmine-html.js. Now, this file is basically a whole bunch of stuff to help the Jasmine parse your test so that it goes into your application. We're going to need a file here called boot.js. This is really the upload function. If you want to think of it that way, the, hey, please let our stuff run. And then we have to do some modification to our index.html. So when we started, we had this sort of we had a couple things. I'm going to actually copy this over. But within our body, we simply had a h1 tag. And maybe we want to put something in here that says, um, you know, introduction. It's just a unit testing. Unit testing, right? So here is that. And then you can see we have our h1 tag. But we need some additional stuff. What do we need? Well. I want to load the main.js file. So we're going to want to load that, add that. That's going to have a type equal to text slash JavaScript. And the source for that file is simply going to be dot slash main.js. Cool. So that's our main.js file. We don't need this index file anymore. And we're going to include a link tag here for some styles. Link. And that's going to have a rel equal to style sheet, not capitalized. I'm doing so much JavaScript for a living. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's hard not to capitalize things. <laughs> My first go-to is capitalize of all the things. We'll add our style link and our href, which is going to be dot that jasmine dot css, which is the file we added here. And then we're going to add, and that's a lowercase, okay? We're going to add three scripts. And I'm going to copy these over so uh, we don't, you know, I'm going to make some typos if I'm not careful. But we have the jasmine.js file, the actual jasmine implementation. We have the jasmine HTML, which is that box, and the boot.js to load it all. And so when we save it, we have our nice setup. So that's how you can get jasmine up and running in your application. And then obviously, we'll talk a little bit more about how to actually get unit tests in here in future videos. But I want to do that from scratch so that you have a little bit better understanding. Now, of course, you can always go and clone this if you want to go and build your own you know, Jasmine sort of test suite. But um, hopefully you found that helpful. Let's go ahead and move on. You know, one thing I wanted to add to this is just sort of a note that we're doing a very sort of encapsulated version. It's only about unit testing here, right? We're not actually testing our application. 
And that re usually requires a little bit more setup as you go, and especially when you start incorporating things like Vue, React, or Angular. Angular is nice because testing comes out of the box, um, but sometimes things like React, which is more popular, doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a link in this cast right here with the jasmine.github tutorial to add it to React. This is going to be a little bit more complex as you go and work with real applications in terms of a configuration and setup. I tried to take care of all of it for this, but we're only unit testing here. We're not actually testing full on applications. Um, and as we go and we have, uh, you know, frameworks, it gets a little bit crazier. You add TypeScript and things like that. You're going to need to add Babel and a couple additional packages, depending on what you're there. But I want to include this link because I know most of you are um, learning React and it's very popular and you're probably interested in adding that to your application. Uh, but something to look at if you're trying to get it up and going. Let's go ahead and move on.